what is going on guys fatty bear guys 62 here bringing you yet another commentary sorry i know it's been so long you know i think the last video I done was like two weeks ago or something i think it was like the ko mini Taj or some shit like it but what i really want to talk to y'all about today is what would you do if you got the opportunity I wouldn't say opportunity or you got the chance to you know do something you really loved in lifetime like or really wanted to do like say whether it be you know for some people playing like you know competitive gaming or you know building like your favorite car or some shit like it you know what would you do on that lines of everything you know if you had say if just somebody come around and was all like look, look I'll give you you know forty thousand dollars or some shit you know to build your perfect car not counting the car you know that's just forty thousand dollars just for like you know the car or some shit like that and you know what would you do would would you take it or would you just like let it blow off because in, in my opinion you know being somebody who has to you know pay their own bills and stuff you know n not living at home with you know our parents and shit like it you gotta think of what would excuse me what would you know something like that what would be more important in your your bills or something, you know, small like that. You know, in my opinion, well, actually, in my case, family's more important than that. You know, I have to pay the bills. I have to do this. You know, of course, I have to, you know, pay the bills. i got to keep the food on the table for the my little boy and all that stuff. But, you know, it, it's been a little bit hard for me to try to make videos here lately because I've been working a lot of overtime since we moved in to my trailer and you know I've been trying to work as much overtime as I can just because you know I need the money so that we can you know stay caught up on bills but in the same sense like a week or so ago I think it's been let's see two weeks two or three weeks something like that my wife's dad passed away and you know for her it's kind of hard because she's I don't think she's ever really lost anybody in her family that she's been that close to but I mean I'm pretty sure it's hard on her just because you know it's her dad you know my parents are still alive which I don't I don't talk to either one of them all that much. I talk to my dad more than I do my mom. Cuz I with my mom it gets kind of a you know a rough story of you know how I got treated when I was younger blah blah blah. But you know it's the, the only thing you can do only time will heal. You you know you can't just be a dick to somebody because Hey, I, I, I don't know how to go about that. But the, the only people that I've lost, like, real close to me like that would have been, you know, my grandparents, which is my dad's mom and them. But going back to the thing, what would you do if somebody just, say, come and dropped a lump sum, like a lump sum of money on you and said, you know, do what you want, do what you want with it. But make sure you give back. You know, because I've seen a lot of things like this. Like, say, on social media or somebody, you know, going to a restaurant. And, you know, their check be only, like, $400 or 40 bucks or some shit like that. And, like, people leave, like, a damn $3,000 tip. You know, and then on the ticket, they write, you know, hope this helps out, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you give back. You know, what what would you do with, you know, a lump sum of money like that? Me, more than likely, I'd probably give to a charity fund. 
knowing that, you know, I have a kid, like, say, whether it be, like, you know, the March of Dimes, St. Jude, something like that. I would do that just because, you know, me having a child now. When you see stories about, you know, something being wrong with, like, a small kid or something like that, you know, it kind of hits home because, you know, you start to thinking, what if it was me, blah, blah, blah. And, you, you know, you want to give just because, you know, you want to help somebody out that's in a time of need like that. And, you know, you would want that in return. So, let me know in the comment section of what you guys think and what you guys would do if you had an opportunity with a lump sum of money like that and what you would do to pay it forward or, you know, give back. And it's your boy, Fetty Big Eye 62 As always, peace out and game on.